Welcome to this video, Play International Master Garpoon from Russia. It's a Russian flag at least, Garpoon. Let's see, this looks like an old Indian. Nope, transposing to a king's Indian. Yeah, fairly closed king's Indian position. Knight g4 now is the best move. Trying to disturb white. If I get in knight d2 unpunished, this is a really nice king's Indian. Like, uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, even h4 is, is a move here. Or, knight, or simply knight d2. Knight d2, f5, f3, bishop h6 could be one, one idea that he's trying to go for. I can also go g4, which is which is not bad. Yeah, let's let's do g4. It's both good, really. H4, g4, knight d2. Or both is wrong. I think they are all interesting. G4, of course, played to make f5 more difficult to play. Even rook g1 is a possible follow-up to make sure that f5 is really not coming. Okay, where do I po 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 put my pieces? Um, H4 is not a good idea. Maybe this one. It's usually good on, on the G file to uh, to meet this, this F5 move. If I go H4 now, is this, uh, is this possible or an idea? Yeah, well, f5 maybe gains a little bit in strength. Maybe just go back. I'm not sure about rook g1, the more that I think of it. Yeah, as usual, those kind of super committal moves are played instantly. I actually believe that this cannot be good for black, but okay. Let's see how to do it. Um, let's grab here first and then the bishop to g4. Yeah, Trading off light squared bishop should be nice. And if he goes to d3, I have this, I have it always check. And knight e4 as well. And maybe he still should play bishop d3 to, to have some sort of murkiness in the position. Murkiness is a word. <laughs> I mean, to, to keep it, keep it, uh, keep it complicated is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Okay, so just queen g4. Yeah, this this is fitting into the position. Rook f4 is maybe a move. Uh, rook f4 is a move. Not sure how dangerous it is, but it is a move. Uh, the dark squares are not that great. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, but rook g6 now a threat. Hmm, okay. I can take now there on g6. I'm not sure if it is any good. And then knight e4, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I really cannot allow him to come to f4 with the knight. That, that really is something that I shouldn't do. Ah, no. Yes, that move. Ah, ah no. Ah, uh, yeah, as you hated to lose against this opening when uh, <laughs> when they especially when they play such a bad line as knight d7 and stuff like that. But um yeah, it is still tricky and I misplayed it, yeah. I really misplayed it. From a tactical point of view and even before that. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a bad game. Yeah, maybe I should really not go with just G4 stuff. It's so, it is often good, but it is so complicated that 
they get this this kind of wacky counterplay all the time. Yeah. Knight g5 would be nice. I can actually do that. Maybe I should, yeah. Rook takes knight g7. Knight f7 is actually quite nice. Hmm, maybe that is not that bad. It is tricky for both sides, the whole, whole affair. Hmm. If I go to h5, he's doing what? Look h4. So I cannot do that. This one. Yeah, I don't I don't see any other move. <sighs> wow. Maybe D6 is a move. D6. D6 and 95 or stuff like that. Let's let's get 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 the king out of it. Uh, bishop h6 he can play yeah i see the moves right after i play them but i mean why why am i not thinking for just one moment to to see all those tricks ah it is frustrating really to overlook all this stuff yeah yeah that's just lost that's just plain lost Any way to swindle here something uh, he can just take it with the pawn I mean <laughs> he can just take it with the pawn and I have no point whatsoever knight g5 queen takes g5 and I just give up there is no no point whatsoever yeah <laughs> exactly this is the problem Time warning. Yeah, it's it's really not mattering. He can just take g5. Uh, yeah, this guy irritates me to no end. Yeah, for difficult moves he he spends no time, and for just taking away stuff he spends ages. Yeah, I can resign here. Yeah. This is white resigns. Yeah, let's let's have a look at this. The thing is that this is really, really just bad for black. Yeah, it's just like that bad, but I'm not punishing it. And this makes me always angry yeah, because they get away with stuff that they shouldn't get away with. How to play that? Yeah, you simply cannot play f5 when I play g4 and rook g1. Yeah? This is just uh, playing totally into white setup. The thing is that I'm playing badly afterwards. How do I do that? So bishop bishop c5, sometimes this is an idea in those positions, maybe not when the knight is on e8. It, it gives up dark square control for light square control. The problem is that maybe in this concrete position it does not, um, does not help. The computer wants to go queen c2 and gives white a pretty clear edge, but queen c2 looks... Tja, it's nothing that I would consider. I mean, it's not a bad move. Yeah? It, it controls e4. Yeah, maybe this was really, really bad. Check. Yeah, the main problem is that here, I mean, what am I playing next? This is such a huge problem, the rook to f4. Yeah, uh, this is this is overruling everything else. Yeah, control of e4 or whatnot. Rook f4 is the problem. 
yeah, maybe I really shouldn't play stuff with g4. Yeah, I mean, this is also just good for white with totally normal moves, castles, knight d2, whatever. And uh, I really don't, I don't, don't play those kind of super complicated positions too well. And uh, I mean, stuff like knight d7 and knight d8 is, is really uh, should be punished. And I'm really, I'm really wondering, and maybe knight d2 is not right. And that's possible that um, it is better to, to keep the knight on f3 for the moment so that after f5 takes, takes, knight g5 is coming, looking to, to go to e6. Yeah, maybe. Very, this, this opening is very complicated. This is also the reason why black players uh, keep playing that stuff, even if it is bad. It, it's very hard to refute, especially in those those slow, um, uh, those slow uh, quick time control games. <clears throat> I personally would, would render the stuff here uh, for black as almost unplayable in tournament chess. Very, very difficult. People might disagree. There will be people who, lie, who love the King's Indian who think this is great, but it is uh, is really not. But it is difficult to play. Maybe I really should do h4 here <clears throat> and keep the knight there, which means that a move like this, it always has, uh, not there, <laughs> it always has this additional idea. The knight is just near, uh, near the king in the attack. And here I, I also ah, have h5. Uh, this is very hard to believe that black can run right into this attack. And uh, maybe, maybe this, yeah. <clears throat> Computer wants to play this funny move, which is <laughs> really sad. <laughs> Going back to f6, and then it wants to go here. Yeah, yeah that, that that's really really cute. Yeah, something like that is of course overwhelming. Yeah? White has such a huge space advantage. Okay, next time, next time. I need to play a little bit more solid against this 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 kind of setup. Thanks for watching.